What's in this course? Well, I've broken it down into six modules for you. The first three are more designed in terms of actually getting an ad out there. So you need some form of messaging, some form of ad. And we're also going to talk about your website and what you're actually offering on your website in that module. Once you know what it is that you're selling, then we need to think about who we are targeting, who we want to see our ads. Next, we're going to talk about bidding. So how much are you willing to pay if and when somebody clicks on one of your ads? See, Google doesn't take your money just because you showed an ad to someone. It's very, very different to radio or TV or print or outdoor advertising. You only pay money to Google if and when somebody clicks on one of your ads. Now, there are more complicated versions of this, and we'll get to those later. But for now, that's all you need to know. So messaging, targeting, bidding. Once we've covered that, then we'll get into the geeky side of things and we'll log into your account for the first time and we'll start looking at what a Google Ads account looks like and we'll start there with structure and settings. So how do you set your first campaign up and how might you then go on and set up future campaigns? Once we've done that, we'll talk about measurement. So what makes Google so different or what makes online advertising so different to offline advertising is the ability to track everything down to the last dollar. You know exactly what the cash coming into your account was, how much you paid for all of your ads over, say, the last week. And you know exactly what came out the other side. How many leads did that help generate? So you know the input, you know the output. The trick then is to make sure we do that in a way that works for your business, to make sure we are paying the right amount for that new customer or client. We'll talk exactly about how to do that in the data and measurement module. And then the last of our six modules is optimization. So once you've built a Google Ads account, once you've got some campaigns up and running, it is not set and forget. This is the bit that scares people away sometimes, but it is anything but set and forget. Remember Yellow Pages? Do you remember that far back? You would create an ad or some graphic designer would create an ad. You'd pay a small fortune to Yellow Pages and you'd be done for the year and the leads would come in. With Google, you don't have to leave it at that point. You could if you wanted to, but you wouldn't get the best results. Why? Well, because the first ad that you write, I guarantee, is not the best ad that you could write. And so you get the ability with Google to make constant little changes, to test new ideas. There could be big changes, there could be little changes, but you get to test new ideas. What about if we said this type of thing in our ad? What about if we bid twice as much? Would that affect the number of people coming in the front door? What about if we targeted a whole different group of people? How does that change things? What about if we want to track phone calls as well as people filling in that little form on our website? What else could we learn and how can those learnings improve our account? So that's what optimization is all about. It's the ongoing and really you are always doing this over the life of an account. That's what we do for our clients day in, day out is make these constant changes, test new ideas. And of course, the game is always changing too. So Google is always adding new features, new uh, ways of doing this. And there are new announcements coming out every single week. So we stay on top of those and we roll out those new changes. We test them, we see if they work or not, because not always what Google says you should do, should you actually do. Uh, sometimes that can hurt accounts. Don't let a Google rep anywhere near your account until you can understand what they're doing and understand what happens next. Did those changes result in a better outcome for you? Not for Google and their shareholders and, and their stock price, but does that improve things for you? Are you getting more clients more profitably or not? At the end of the day, profit is probably gonna be the metric that you use to measure the performance of your Google Ads account. That's the metric that matters in the vast majority of businesses that we work with. So we'll talk about exactly how you do that and how you optimize, how you keep improving the profitability 
of your Google Ads account. So those are your six modules. We're going to talk about messaging, targeting, bidding, and then structure and settings, data and tracking and measurement, and optimization. There's a fair bit in here. I probably could have done this as a six day, six, 10 minute video course, but I didn't think that would be fair to you. I think that would leave an awful lot of stuff unsaid. So we're gonna dig a little bit deeper, but come with me on this journey and we'll have fun.